It was as British as roast beef, and in 1969, a brash young Australian called Rupert Murdoch bought it. The money it made helped him build the world's first truly global media empire. The News of the World was already more than a century old, and it claimed the world's biggest selling newspaper. Generations of Britons had settled down to read it after Sunday lunch. The paper Rupert Murdoch bought was famous, even notorious, for its sensational coverage of ghastly crimes and grisly murders, sex scandals and shocking revelations. Can you send it to the bank account that I tell you to? Sarah Ferguson, the Duchess of York, was among the modern News of the World's victims. The paper targeted celebrities and ordinary people. Sometimes it went too far. The Formula One boss Max Mosley successfully sued the News of the World for invading his privacy. The paper's undercover reporter Maza Mahmoud, the fake sheikh, made a career out of hidden camera stings. This won the paper a British press award earlier this year. The team that makes the News of the World the greatest newspaper in the world for me, thank you to every one of you. Thank you. Like all newspapers, the News of the World is a shadow of what it once was. Ten years ago, the paper sold more than four million copies a week. That's plummeted today to 2.7 million. But seven and a half million people still read the News of the World every week. And of those, 2.9 million are the upmarket ABC One readers beloved of advertisers, far more than even read the supposedly upmarket Sunday Times. So commercially, it has remained a crucial part of the News International stable of four national titles. The decision to close the paper has stunned many, though some see it as just a cynical ploy. It's a typical management stunt of Mr Murdoch. What he does is he gets rid of problems, and in this case, nobody in the senior management is clearly involved in these matters. Rebecca Wood's a clear example. None of those go, but the poor old workers at the, at the News of the World are going, and there's no doubt it'll become the Sunday Sun. But whether a seven-day sun replaces it or not, today it was clear the News of the World, one of the world's oldest newspapers, had become an expensive liability. Nick Hyam, BBC News.